How do you think you've developed as a trainer over these last five years? Well, I think I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still, I'm still getting better. I'm, uh, I think now, now what I know in boxing and what I could see in, in the ring, uh, I, I've thought about it and I've, I've thought about my career. And and uh, and the first thing that comes to my mind is when I fought uh, Joao Casamayor. I think to myself and I said, if I would have known what I know now, I would have became world champion that day. Because mm. uh, we headbutted in the sixth round, and and they took me to the doctor, and it was a pretty big cut. They took me to the doctor, and I tell her, oh, I'm good. I could, I could still continue fighting. I was ahead on all cards. I was ahead on the cards. Mm. I could have said, I can't see, I can't see, uh, <laughs> stop the fight, and they would have gone to the scorecards. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would have won. I would have, been, I would have become world champion. But then, uh, I could still fight. No, no, don't. I could still fight. Don't stop the fight. I could still fight. Not knowing that if they would have stopped it, they would have gone to the scorecards. Now, I tell my fighter, you can't see. You can't see. Don't worry about it. You can't see. Because I know we're winning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Now, that, that's a game that happened yeah. with these crazy judges. Look what happened with the, uh, you know, the one judge had Mayweather a draw. Right, so if Brandon gets cut on Saturday and you, or Sunday and you think he's winning, do you do you take the chance of see, saying that now? He yeah, the see that that's the thing that now with the judges and all lately with all those those scorecards, I think now it's not about what the judges decide. I think it's the fans, the the, the media, what they see is what's important. Uh, bad decisions always happen, but the one that gets the bad decision, he he doesn't lose anything. He still continues to to be uh, to be the same, and or maybe even get better fights, because because uh, uh, the promoters see it, the uh, media sees it, the fans see see the results. Well, and, then let uh, me ask you that because I, I I'll question you on that because you know when Pacquiao lost to Bradley, everybody said, oh, it won't bother him because he he clearly won the fight. But now, what's everybody talking about? He's lost two in a row. Is he going to have to retire? And yet, you know, see, that's the, because the, you know, the, the time that he lost to Bradley. It shouldn't have affected him because. Uh, but people are saying, you know. Everybody thought he, you know, I thought he won. Everybody thought he won. He came back to five markets and he probably made twenty-five million dollars. So does did it affect him? Not at all. But I now here's Freddie Roach saying he's going to retire if he loses to, to Rio. Because because he already because he already got knocked out really bad after that against Marcus. So that knockout was was very dangerous. It, it, no, he got dropped twice, once, and then got knocked out. So those are those are things that, of course, the the uh, the trainer, the family, the management team, they all have to be very very aware, and they they gotta be very smart in those decisions. If if he get beat up, and and if he if he was to get knocked out uh, against Brandon, then then maybe it's a good thing to tell him. You know, you should think about retirement.